Hey guys, welcome back to Magic TV. My name's Craig. It is six o'clock. It's time for a Magic Live. Today, I'm going to be doing 52 Thoughts by Cody Fisher. A very old trick, very good trick. Talked about it on a Hidden Gems recently. You can get it from uh, Mia Yidid from My Magic. And I'm going to perform it on Jack. How are you doing, Jack? I'm good. Got a prediction here. Literally. Yeah, it says prediction. I can read minds. I can predict what people are going to do. I'm going to prove it to you. Okay. I have a prediction. Yeah. Now, on the other side of this piece of paper, I've written a word. Well, I've actually printed a word. Is it prediction again? No. Okay. It could be any word in the, in the English language. Be honest. Tell the truth. Don't lie, Jack. Do you have any idea what the word is? No. Correct. Look at that. <laughs> it's amazing. My mental prowess is... I mean, come on, Jack. Think about it. This is, this is just... You're not looking impressed. I saw that coming, and yet I'm still surprised. Look, I'm, I'm <laughs> gonna, I'm, I can tell you're not impressed. Maybe you doubt the fact that I'm incredible. So I'm gonna do it again. I, I, I've done a drawing here, Jack. A drawing? I've done a drawing of an animal. It could be any animal in the world. Jack, I've made my prediction. What's the animal that you're thinking of? Panther. A panther? Yeah. Please bear in mind, I'm not the greatest artist of all time. I'm a magician, not an artist. But I'm sure that you and everybody and Michael and everyone watching at home will agree that that is definitely a panther. 100%. That's a panther. There you go. It's a panther. Is it? Yeah, it is. There's, there's the claws and stuff. and The, the panther ears. So it's obvious it's a panther. Again, you don't look very impressed. Does this stuff have an eating disorder? No, it's a panther. It's just et. It's full. <laughs> look, you don't look impressed. But look, I've got one more prediction. This is the one that's going to amaze you. I can tell you weren't amazed by the first two. This is the one that's going to blow your socks off. You're wearing socks. Yes. Not for much longer. I want you to imagine that you've walked into the supermarket. What's your favourite supermarket, Jack? Our bargains. Well, we're not surprised. <laughs> Could have said White Charles, but no. It's not even Tesco or Sainsbury's. It's, it's home bargains. I want you to imagine you're walking up and down home parkings. You, you step past the uh, drunk people in the uh, the aisle. And, and you get to somewhere in home bargains. And you pick something else something off the shelf and you're looking at it and holding it in your hand. I've made my prediction. What is that you're holding? What are you holding? Milk. You're holding milk. What type of milk? Uh, Semi-skimmed. Semi-skimmed milk. Yep. From Home Bargains. Yeah. That was a free choice. Yeah. This is amazing. Have you got a barcode scanner? Not on me. Because if you have and you scan that, that would take you to Home Bargains semi-skimmed milk. But if you've not got a barcode scanner, I can't prove it. But it would have done, and it would have been amazing. Still not impressed. One last one. Jack, I'm going to snap my fingers. There's 52 cards in the deck. Uh, when I snap my fingers, name a card. Seven of Diamonds. Seven of Diamonds. Yep, there you go. Uh, Seven of Diamonds is there. There it is. Seven of Diamonds. Along with all the others. Uh, every card, Including the advertising cards, I was hedging my bet. And the Joker. Can't forget the joke. Can't forget the, you look. You really don't look impressed. So I tell you what, we'll do. We'll do a virtual card trick, okay? A virtual, virtual. card trick. A virtual, virtual card trick. Because I'm not actually even using a deck of cards. Let me just cut the deck. Cut the deck. <laughs> so I've cut the deck, Jack. So I've got two halves now. Uh, which half would you like? It's totally your choice. Whichever you take, that's the one that you're going to use. Oh, that one. That one. That, that one. one. That one. Take it. There you go. And uh, what I want you to do is follow along what I do and do me a favour, compadre, and cut the deck. There you go. You're cutting the deck? Great. You're doing it brilliantly. You really are. The level of neatness you're putting into this is just mind-boggling. Okay, the no, you're doing well. Take your time. You <laughs> now take the two halves and put them together and cut the deck again. Like that. Just put them together. Turn it like that. Cut the deck again. Take the two halves, put them together. <laughs> cut the deck again. I'm seeing a pattern here, Michael. Now when you've done, yeah. turn them face down. Hold them. Mix them up. Shuffle the deck. Don't think about this. You could have had either half. I've dropped half of it. Clumsy this counts. There we go. You could have had either half. You cut, you cut, you cut again, then you shuffle. What I want you to do is take one of those pieces, and there'll be cards on it, obviously, because there's cards on all of them. If, if you've got a piece of paper without any cards on, just grab a different one. 
and I want you to look over them and think of any card that you can see. But do me a favor, go for a number card, not a picture card. Everybody ends up going for jacks, queens, or kings. Don't be like everyone else, do something different. Okay. It's okay, don't worry. You got one? Yep. You got one? Yep. Great, shuffle the deck again. And then just put your hand on the pieces so I can't see anything. There's no way I can know what your card is. Nope. Concentrate on the card. Concentrate. I want you to imagine the card right there. That's not me dancing, that's an invisible card. This is me dancing, totally different thing. Remember the card right there, you got it? Got it. You got it? Concentrate on the colour of the card. Imagine that that colour is coming out of your forehead and hitting me in my forehead. God, this is difficult. It's hard to read, but I think I can do it. It's a, it's a red card, isn't it? It is. Mm, that's what I thought. Boom. Let's see if we can do this again. Concentrate, concentrate on the actual suit. On the actual suit. I see lots of pointy bits. It's a diamond, isn't it? It is. At this point, I'm just like... What the fuck? Concentrate on the... Uh, Okay, concentrate on whether it's an even card or an odd card. An even card would be like a two, a four, a six, an eight, a ten. An odd card would be like a one, a three, a five, seven, nine. Concentrate on whether it's an odd card or an even card. It's an even, isn't it? It's like a two, a four, it's a an six. Even, yeah. yeah, it's an even one, isn't it? One last one. Concentrate on whether it's a high card or a low card. Okay, I've got it. It's a, uh, it's a high card, isn't it? It's a high card. Um, picture the whole thing here. It's a diamond, it's a high card, it's an even card. You could have thought of anything, they're all different. You can go check them out afterwards. You got the uh, ten of diamonds. Where the fuck did you know that? 52 thoughts. That's it. It's a great trick, it's fantastic. Uh, you, you wreck a piece of paper every single time, but when you buy it, you get tons of them, so you can do it over and over again. It's called 52 Thoughts. It's by one of my favourite comedy magicians, Cody Fisher. You can get it from my magic. Do me a favour, let me know what you think in the comments down below. You want to see more videos like this, like the video, subscribe to the channel. I'll be back again tomorrow at 6 o'clock with another Magic Live. I'll see you then.